What's up everybody? Hope you are doing well today. In the last video, we took our first look at position time graphs. And we looked at really simple graphs with simple curves and we analyzed them. And the main conclusion we came from those graphs was the slope and the meaning of the slope. And that is that the slope basically tells us the velocity. So today we're going to look at a graph that's not so simple, has some curvature to it, and we're going to kind of analyze it in the same way. So here's our graph that we're going to look at today. Uh, I think what I'll do, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this guy just so we can get a better picture of what's happening in some various segments. So let's zoom in here. So what I want you to notice first off is that the slope is changing. So for example, if we look at the very beginning here, we can see that there is virtually no slope, right? So remember, this is position over here, and so our position is staying the same. So we would say right here, we're actually, there's like no movement, right? We'd say, okay, let's say there's a zero velocity. But as we move along, the slope starts to increase. So for example, at this location, let's say we have a slope like this. Okay, just for argument's sake, let's say that happens to be one meter per second. If we calculate the slope in that location, if we look a little bit further along, let's say right here, hopefully you can see that at this location, it's a steeper slope, right? Which means we're traveling a further distance in that given period of time. So for example, um, you know, maybe we're traveling two meters up in one second. So maybe we're traveling two meters per second. Whereas back in that first curve, notice we're traveling a smaller distance in the same period of time. So maybe in this one, it's only one meter per second. So you can see the slope is increasing with this increasing curve. So say, let's say right here, okay, this is even a steeper slope. Maybe this one is three meters per second. Okay, so here clearly with this curvature, you can see that there is an acceleration, right? We're speeding up. We're going from zero to one to two to three. In fact, if we wanted to calculate the acceleration here, let's for argument's sake, let's just say we're finding the slope at this point and at this point right here. Here it's one meter per second, here it's two meters per second. Let's just say this is one second and two seconds, well hopefully you can see that we're going from one meter to two meters per second in a time period of one second. One to two seconds, that interval here would just be one second, right? So the increase or the acceleration, the increase in velocity is one meter per second every second, right? So we're going from zero to one to two to three and again, I'm kind of assuming this is, would be, say, three seconds. We're increasing that one meter per second every second. So anyways, that curve tells us that there is a, a speeding up situation here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the graph. So let me go ahead and zoom this back down here. Um, okay, so let's look at, there's various regions here. Let's notice, say, this region. So I'm going to do this just a little more broadly. So this region, notice it, it's pretty stable, right? The velocity is increasing at a constant rate. It's like a straight line. It's not curved. So here there's going to be kind of a constant velocity in this region. You wouldn't say that it's accelerating at all. Okay. Here we said it was, say, speeding up. Now let's look at this next little region. So we have a slope here, still constant. And then notice the slope is gradually decreasing. So this is going to be a shallower slope. This is going to be even a shallower slope here. In fact, at the very top, it's going to be a horizontal slope, right? So hopefully you can see that in this region, we're actually slowing down. We're traveling a shorter distance in the same period of time. In fact, at this top where it's horizontal, just like down here where it was horizontal, right here means that it's not moving, that we've actually stopped. 
And in fact, if you notice, we're now reversing direction. So this region, we're actually going back towards where we started. So we're moving backwards over here. Okay. Now in this situation, if we look at the, this next curve, again, here we're, you're, we're stopped, right? So we'll say, let's just say we're moving zero meters per second. Now our slope is gradually increasing. So we have a slightly larger slope. Now it's increasing in the negative direction. So this is a negative slope here. Let's just, for argument, say it's like negative one. And then this slope is even steeper. Let's say this is like negative two. So notice that we're speeding up, but we're speeding up in the negative direction. So this little curved region here, we'll say we're speeding up. Okay, we're just speeding up backwards. And then again, we have a nice straight line here. So we'd be moving kind of at a constant velocity in this region. And then lastly, this one, again, notice we have a certain velocity. Let's just for argument's sake, it's say negative three. And then now we're gonna have a smaller slope and a smaller slope and say a horizontal slope again. So say we're going from like three meters per second to maybe two, negative two, negative one, zero, right? So clearly in this region is our slope is decreasing, becoming more and more horizontal, we're gonna say that we're slowing down. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions.